Hello, this is Jamie Shaw. I am a senior CAD support specialist for the Illinois Department of Transportation, and today I'm going to show you how to create a cover sheet and a general note sheet. You see here I have a cover sheet DGN set up, brand new DGN, and I've downloaded a Sacramento County map because the training I'm using, developing, uses the projects in Sacramento County. So what I've developed is uh, a title sheet and a detail sheet, which a detail sheet can be used for um, summary quantities, can be used for general notes, can be used for schedules, can be used for de you know details. So the first one I'm going to show you is um, the title sheet, the cover sheet. So if you, I know this is the map that you guys typically use. This is just one I went out and found. It's a five-year classification map and our project is along Illinois 97 125 so I have a name boundary set up for the map on the title sheet so we're going to set a name boundary first we want to set our scale to one to one I have these sheets set up one to one go in and click name boundary you want to pick the third one from the right which is from drawing boundary and you want to change this to title sheet and then you can give it a name, cover sheet, and then you want to make sure you're set at full size one to one and you're set at place single name boundary and you want create drawing checked. Now you have a little box here and we're going to zoom in and we're going to pick where we want the name boundary to be. It brings up the create drawing dialog box, make sure everything's set to one to one. You can add it to a sheet index if you want, but I'm not going to right here. And then you just hit OK. It goes in and creates the cover sheet with the map in it. As you zoom in, the map's all pixelated. Give it a few minutes, it'll clear out. And I'm working on getting these areas to fill out, this area here to fill out. There's a defect in already in project wise that is keeping it from filling out according to the assets and project wise um, so as soon as that's straightened out with Bentley I'll do a video on how to uh, create the or get all that in it all that information to annotate as you cut the sheets so there's our title sheet as you see if you go into the home tab and go into models you see you have a cover sheet model, a sheet DGN, and a uh, drawing DGN, and the default model. To make any changes to the map area, you have to do it in the default model. To fill out the, everything else on here, you'd have to go in and edit on the sheet model. Now we can switch over to a drawing I have called general notes and these notes aren't anything special I got a summer quantity spreadsheet that I brought in I've got just some notes that I copied made bigger and smaller um, just just to demonstrate this and it's set up the same way we want to go to drawing production Make sure your scale is set to one to one, and then we're going to go to a name boundary. And same call, we're going to have from drawing boundary, but this time we're going to change to a detail sheet, which see that makes the name boundary a lot bigger. Name this general notes. Make sure it's set to full size one to one. Make sure it's set to plus place single name boundary, and then you just place your name boundary around your information you create drawing dialog box comes up make sure it's one to one you can add it to the sheet index if you want I'm not going to hit OK boom it creates your your sheet model and then like I said I'm working on the information in the bottom of the title block to fill in automatically as you cut sheets and that's a, a problem between Bentley and project wise or Bentley's 
two software programs already and project wise and since it's resolved I'll do a video on how that's all done so that's all I have for you today I hope this helps you guys out um, and look forward to giving you another video on how to fill out the, the details on the, on the title sheets later on thank you